to Hollywood, where a real-life drama is being played out as thousands of screenwriters prepare to go on strike. Tomorrow, the writers who provide film and TV stars with their lines have failed to negotiate a deal with studios over revenues on DVD and Internet sales. And uh, if it goes ahead, it will be the first major strike in 20 years. It's got the biggest Hollywood names speaking out. I don't think the industry needs a long strike. I don't know. I mean, I think everyone does think, have to think very hard about the issues concerned, which is the rights of writers to uh, some share of the profits in all the subsidiary things. So it's about an important issue, and maybe it needs a bit of a tussle to get it sorted. I want to handle it, and let's get on to what we all want to do, which is just, I just want to make movies. Well, the Writers Guild of America represents screenwriters. One of its members is Peter Briggs. His credits include Hellboy and Alien vs. Predator. Peter's here. Good morning. Good morning. Peter. Well, uh, it is a complicated one, this. It so is. you've got about 20 seconds to unravel it. But it's about sort of the money that, that you writers get from DVD sales and other things. Absolutely. Um, basically, our agreement with the Producers Guild, the Writers Guild of America, uh, has elapsed. And we went to the negotiating table. And uh, the producers, uh, rather than actually coming up with solutions for uh, new media, uh, actually um, use this great phrase, rollbacks, which is actually taking away things from us. So uh, essentially, our position would have been in a, a, a much worse than it would have been uh, if we'd have just carried on. Is there much extra money that coming in through downloads and that sort of thing? Absolutely. I mean, uh, the sticking point on this one is primarily the DVDs. Um, we want essentially. Uh, um, and, and uh, a doubling of our, our revenue. At the moment, we're getting four cents on a $15 DVD. We want eight cents. Uh, to put that into perspective, the packaging alone uh, costs 50 cents. So essentially, the producers are saying we're not worth the cost of a cardboard packaging. Mm. Uh, do, well, you feel so strong about it because it's, it's the money, but it also is a, an attitude from the producers that you're unhappy with. Oh, absolutely, yes. Um, uh, the studios are making enormous amounts of money. Nobody actually really knows how because of the labyrinthine accountancy uh, system. Mm. But you get, you, you get a fee. When you write a script like for Hellboy, say, Absolutely, yeah. you get paid up front for of writing course, it. Yes. Okay, so you just, this is just a little bonus on the side. Uh, well, it's, it's more than that. I mean, for, for those 12,000 members of the Writers Guild of America, and obviously there aren't 12,000 jobs, so the vast majority of um, the Guild are at any one time uh, really unemployed. Um, uh, residuals keep them alive uh, often for months and years afterwards. Mm. Uh, it's going to be some time before the strike kicks in, though, isn't it? Because if you stop work now, well, they're going to carry on making films for a while, aren't they? They're yeah, there's a stockpile of, of, of films. Um, where it's going to hit most is in the television sector. Um, late night chat shows, uh, Letterman, Leno, they require scripts. They're going to go off the air almost immediately. Um, television shows will roll around by February. Uh, that stockpile will have gone. But in the cinemas, all they've got to do is go to that huge pile of, of scripts they've got options on and just make those. Mm, they, the, the, again, the situation is a little more complicated than that. They, they have to be uh, greenlit and, and ready to go. Um, and um, many of the scripts have been rushed in order to get them in in time. Mm. Is every writer, though, in Hollywood a member of the Guild? Absolutely. Uh, you have to be a member of the Guild. In the 1988 strike, um, for example, the American uh, sector were looking to bring in writers from outside the country. Uh, the Guild this time has said that if they try to do that, um, uh, anyone who does that will be blacklisted. So you'll be leaving your laptop switched off from tomorrow? Well, I don't... Or no emails to Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be a, a very rough time ahead. Um, luckily, the, the, there's always the BBC. Okay, Peter Briggs, thank you very much. Thank you.